hi guys uh, so today we are going to solve question 2.47 and 2.48 uh, so in question 2.47 the statement is how many ways are there to select three candidates from eight equally qualified recent graduates for openings in an accounting firm okay so here we have the total number of options which are eight so we have one two three four five six seven and eight okay uh, so we have these total eight candidates okay and from them i have to select three which can be represented here with these three slots okay so any one of them can uh, basically occupy them in such a way that there will be no repetition okay so how many choices would i have here here, here i will have eight choices here i will have seven choices because one has been occupied with this space and here i will have seven six and so multiply then i will get the answer okay similarly that could also be done by using the npr formula where n is equal to eight okay and uh, r is equal to what r is equal to three so writing it here what i will get i will get here eight factorial divided by the eight minus three five factorial because the formula has been recently cleared to you guys and that was basically the n factorial divided by n minus r whole factorial this was what this was npr Okay. Uh, so now uh, writing it what i will get i will get 8 multiplied by 7 6 multiplied by 5 factorial all divided by this 5 factorial here this will these will be cancelled out and the answer here we would have will be this one which is the similar like this one okay so in these questions we are not only following the formulas here but uh, also giving you the intuitive information or intuitive meaning of the questions like this one so that you are able to learn the underlying concepts as well okay so this is for the question 2.47 now moving to the question 2.48 what is the uh, statement here so how many ways are there that no students will have the same birth date in a class of size uh, 60 okay so we have a total of 60 students in a class and uh, we have to arrange them in such a way that there should be no uh, two students who will have the same birthday okay so let me clean it first and uh, i will show you that how to approach these kind of questions okay uh, so i have already written the formula for the permutation here uh, so here in question 2.48 we have the options in which the total number of candidates we want to arrange are basically 60 and these 60 has to be arranged from the total options of 365 which are basically the days in a year okay uh, so what is the concept here so here we will have the 60 slots okay so i will have one two three up to what up to the 60th one so this is one two three up to it the, the 60th slot and here we have all these 60 students so in such a way that each of the student birthday is different than the other one okay and no two students at least two students shouldn't have the same birthday so how many options will i have here again following the same uh, procedure so here i will have 365 options so one has been occupied here so here then i will have 364 okay when it will be occupied here i will have 363 and so on so here i will have when six these will be occupied so here i will have 305 options so at the end we will have to multiply them together as well so that will be the solution so uh, in these uh, type of questions it is not very easy to get this type of block and then multiply them together so therefore what we do here we apply this formula okay in such a way that here the total number of options we have are 365 and the number of uh, 
items we want to take at a time are 60 because these are the 60 people and we have we have to arrange them in such a way that there would be no repetition okay so this is what this is called permutation okay so writing it here in this formula what i will get 365 or 60 and here i will have 365 factorial divided by 365 minus 60 so i will have here 305 whole factorial okay so that would be what that would be the answer of my question okay what you can do here is that you can use the calculator to calculate it and uh, here you will get the answer but the intuition here is to guide you regarding the questions like this one because these are the questions you may have in your uh, interviews and uh, many opportunity you will have in which you may encounter the questions like this one uh, so i think it's enough for today in which we have discussed all the questions like this one and this is also the end of this section as well in our next section we will try to formulate the strategies to find the uh, probabilities of different events and we will proceed in such a way that we will move to the higher and uh, advanced concepts in our upcoming video so if you guys have any question you can ask me in the comment box so i will see you soon take care of yourself and see you